angels, I think it's time we discuss a problem I have. Uh, I don't know... I don't know where to start with this. Uh, this is a little bit awkward because I didn't think I'd have to address this, but I guess I'll just address it here. Um, hello, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dominic, aka Lookin' Bratz, and welcome to the Lookin' Bratz YouTube channel. I am a Bratz fan, and I run some social media accounts dedicated to Bratz called The Lookin' Bratz, and I run a website called TheLookinBrats.com, which is a very extensive Bratz database, and it has news, it has a blog with reviews, and a bunch of other cool stuff with some really cool updates in the work, as I've said over the past two years. And I guess now I really want to talk about the issue I have, and the issue at hand is that I am a Bratz fan. And keeping that in mind, I love Bratz memorabilia. It is really what helped me create LookinBrats.com. It inspired me because there has just been years and years, two and a half decades worth almost, of Bratz merchandise. And it really takes me back to this nostalgic place, and it really reminds me of what a powerhouse the Bratz brand was back in the day. And with that, and the fact that I named my whole social media and my website after the makeup brand Lookin' Bratz that they had back in 2003, and the fact that, yes, I did name myself after expired children's makeup. And with that in mind, I tend to buy a lot of Bratz things, okay? It's it's something I like to do because I love Bratz, and I love everything that they've had to offer. You know what, there's a few things I could say, like, I don't need, like, I, I'm not gonna go there. But there's other things where I'm like, yeah, like, I really, really want this, even though it's nothing that, like, I really truly need, but I do need it because I am a Bratz fan. And I love this kind of stuff. Like, this kind of stuff is really interesting to me. So, I guess to get to the point, because I like to talk and I like to ramble, as people know, I have Bratz things that I've bought in the past month or two, and I, I just wanted to share them. I just really wanted to share them. I have some cool things, things that I'm excited about. So, I'm just going to share my love with everybody today. So, first thing is first. This Bratz mug. There's something in it, and I'll show you what's in it soon. I got this Bratz mug at Burlington the other day. I've actually been looking for it for quite some time. Whenever I go to Burlington, whenever I go to Walmart, I always look for, like, Bratz merchandise, like, in the cups and stuff. And my mom gets really mad at me because I keep putting Bratz mugs and cups in the cupboard. And there's, like, no space in there, like, at all for anything else. And I bought this mug. I think I bought it yesterday. I bought the mug yesterday. I'm, I will say, I don't like the fact that Sasha and Yasmin's skin tones are so light on this, because a lot of the merchandise as of late has corrected those issues, but now I feel like some of them don't correct those issues. But I will say the overall design of the mug was pretty cute, and there was no price tag on it, so the woman scanned, like, a gift bag for, like, $2.99, so I got this mug for, like, $3. She was very, very nice. And, yeah, this is, like, the first thing, which, this is, like, low maintenance, like, whatever, it's a mug. I will likely use it, yes. But then, I put these in the mug because I had nowhere else to put them at the moment. But, look at this little gremlin. Look at this little gremlin. What is this? You're thinking, like, what is this? That's what I was thinking when I saw it. There's three of them. There's Yasmin, Jade, and Chloe. Sasha was excluded because racism. And these are cake toppers. Now, I remember I was a kid. It was 2007. It was probably like my eighth birthday, I think. And my I had a, I had a birthday party. I was in California with my grandmother, my father, my aunt, and my that side of the family. And I was really into Bratz that year, and I had a regular cake, it was cool, whatever. And then there was, like, a little tiny cheesecake that my grandmother bought. And I didn't really like cheesecake at the time, like, I didn't know what it was fully. I do love cheesecake now. I, that was, I would, if I was to think of a first time I remember having cheesecake, it was probably that moment. And on the cheesecake, there were these little Bratz cake toppers. 
and I was obsessed. I was obsessed. And I actually still have some of those cake toppers to this day. They're in my closet. I totally would have showed you, so I'll try to put a picture somewhere. But since then, I've become obsessed, I think, with, like, little Bratz things like this. And I remember also having these, like, Bratz Pets magnetic cake toppers. I was just really obsessed with the cake topper era. And then, like, the little rings, like, with the Fashion Pixies pictures on them. Like, it was a great time to be a Bratz fan, because you could find a Bratz thing anywhere. Now you have to really search for it. So, of course, these Bratz Babies cake toppers came out when Bratz Babies were, like, probably at the height of their popularity. Around, like, 2005, 2006. And so we do have Chloe here. And I do want to show you, like, what this is, because it's a little bit frightening. It's nothing inside. I think they said you're supposed to put candy in it, like, for kids. Oh, it says 2006 on the bottom. So I think it's some sort of candy container for kids, like, in the birthday cakes for the kids. And there's two different outfits. Also, please excuse me, I'm learning how to use this camera still. <laughs> there's two different sides. This is actually Roxy's outfit, Brett's Baby's Roxy's outfit, and then this is Big Baby's Chloe's outfit, and basically you can, like, switch the outfits for them this way, which I guess is an interesting concept. I understand, like, the gimmick of having the candy in there, but also sort of making it, like, a mix-and-match type of situation, but I, uh, it's a little scary. It's a little scary. It's a little campy, though, like, a little, like, uncanny. And I kind of like that, like I uh, appreciate it a little bit because of how uncanny that is. Now the only thing I just like really, aside from the fact that it's a little, um, it could have been a better concept. I kind of wish it was just a figurine. Like I feel like it should have just been a figurine like a regular cake topper would be, but now they like did something else here. But here's Yasmin's. I don't like how the paper gets caught when I try to put the head back on. There we go. Also, Yasmin's skin tone is a little weird here, too. And then we do have Jade. Jade's is pretty cute. Here's her f one outfit, and then here's her other outfit. And her head. <laughs> and then I like how they added the, the cats and the pets to them. So that's like one or two examples, I should say, of Bratz merch I've bought. But I don't know what happened. I was looking up Bratz cake toppers for some reason, and I come across this cake topper I've never seen before. It's not on my website. I can't find any information about it. It was made by Birthday Express in 2006. It's a licensed thing, of course. It's an official Little Bratz product. It's a Little Bratz Talia cake topper. And this is, like, really, like, it's a hefty one. Like, it's a little heavier, it's a little bigger than the ones I'm used to. That made it sound a little weird. It's a little bigger than, like, the cake toppers I'm used to seeing from Bratz. And the face, of course, it is a little bit uncanny. I think this kind of happens with almost all of the Bratz cake toppers and the ornaments and stuff, because it's being made by third-party licensors who don't really know how to apply Bratz faces, or maybe they're not really fully caring about it, but I thought she was cute nonetheless. I do have to clean her up. She's a little dirty, um, but yeah. Another interesting Bratz find I found, but I like her, and I like how the, the base is a heart. Now, to me, these are exciting finds, and I, I don't know how much people care about this kind of stuff, but I love print media. I feel like print media is just great to have because, as we know from the internet, like, Things, yes, the internet lasts forever, but I feel like there tends to be lost media, like, all over the place. Like, yes, everyone thinks the internet bestows all the information upon you, but not necessarily, and I think especially with Bratz in particular, that's why I created Lookin' Bratz, because I wanted to keep the archive of everything. I wanted it to be preserved, and for other people to use it as a reference. So I found this really cool catalog. It's from Target Australia, and I was just so happy to find it. it it's a dedicated Bratz flyer. I think it's probably some sort of special they had going on. It's from October of 2004. We have Winter Ball Beauty Chloe on the front with the Bratz cats, and then when you go in it, it's just, it's just like Bratz mania up in here. 
I really, I love just seeing old Bratz advertisements. Honestly, some of the pictures here, I could totally see Bratz using, like, on their Instagram these days. But it's, like, eight pages of just Bratz and, like, their 2004 lineup. There's also some stuff from 2003 in here, I believe. But, yeah. I don't know. This stuff just makes me happy. And Tokyo Go Go. And it's so, like, wow, like, this was from almost 20 years ago. So, it's just, like, wow. Like, and I, I own it now. Like, it's something that somebody decided to keep in Australia. Like, sometimes, like, you know, with, like, things you get from the stores, a lot of people just throw them away or they'll use them to, like, wrap things. But there's people who actually preserve it, and I really appreciate those people. There's also these Italian... Brett's catalogs I found, and these have been on eBay for a long time, I want to say almost a year, and I keep telling myself, like, oh, I'm going to buy them, I'm going to buy them when I have money, because the shipping was a little bit expensive, and I just never did it until recently when I was like, maybe this is my chance to buy them, and I should buy them now to avoid losing out on them eventually if somebody else decides to buy them. So this one is from 2005. It has Step Out Yasmin and Chloe on it. And what's cool is like you open it. Oh. And it's like, oh, it looks like a little insert, but then the full image is right here. I just thought it was neat. And then there's just, it's like literally just a catalog of brats. Well, I'm a little bit of a mess. <laughs> I might do, like, a reel or something, like, showing, like, fully everything that's in this catalog. But it has all the spinoffs from that year, everything that they were releasing. I, I love this. I love this. Like, you, how could I hate this? And, like, Pretty and Punk. Wow. And to think that that line got reproduced last year. Like, it's, it's weird how, how time sneaks up on us, but then it, like, revisits itself. This one, I believe, is, yeah, this one's 2004. This is from their Italian distributor uh, gig, by the way, if anyone was curious. I do like how they did the artwork in these. I have a few things like this, and I just really love when they sort of switch it up with the artwork. And also the promotional pictures are just so interesting. 2004, like, I love the 2004 lineup. Oh, I love this. There's scans of this one online. Um, I think it's Las Passion de, de Bretz on. They have their own website. She's like an international collector who made like an archive of Bretz. It's not complete, but her archive has been really helpful just in creating looking Bretz. And also, a lot of people love her archive because of how visual it is. And she did a phenomenal job for where she left off at. Like, that's why I was like, I really want to do something like that, but, like, elaborate on it. But I remember seeing these photos on that, on that site. Oh, I love it. I love it. Like, the board games. Like, this is, like, I love this. I love this. I, I literally think at some point I'm going to own, like, everything Bratz. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like I could never fully get sick of it. And I, I'm just going to say, I bought this sticker album. I believe it was from Argentina. I know the stickers are from Argentina, so I'm going to assume this is the same. And I wanted it for the artwork, but also because I, when I was doing research for lookingbreaths.com, I had always seen it, and I always wanted it, and I was like, oh, like, I love how it looks, and I love when artwork gets very heavily used. But it's this sticker album. This one is from 2007, but on the front it has the princess artwork, it has the live action movie promoted in the corner, then you open it up, you see advertisements for a Brad's cell phone, and then we open it up and there's just all this like really, really gorgeous artwork. I, I just appreciate this so, so much. And then like, you're supposed to put the stickers in this album where the numbers are. And it's supposed to, like, correspond to a character or a collection of some sort. And so I've always wanted the stickers. I really just bought it because I wanted the cool artwork and I wanted to scan some of it. I actually recently used one of the scans I had from this in a recent social media post. Also, there's the Bratz movie poster. 
I, I forgot that was in there, honestly. It's been about two years since I've had this album, so I haven't, like, I don't know. I haven't looked at it too much since. Also, because I was hoping one day I would get the stickers to put in it. Also, I love, 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 love this art. Now that I'm thinking about it, I may have had this for a lot longer than two years, because I remember a lot of this like it was, like, three years ago, almost. There's, like, the movie prototypes and some flower girls and magic makeup prototypes there. What's on the end? Oh, Pampered Pups, salon style. I think I've scanned these. I don't know if I've uploaded all of them. I honestly forgot. I just uploaded this artwork for the Met Gala meme I did, but people were all like, it's not the theme, and I'm like, I don't care. Like, let's have some fun, please. I, I have that album, and then... I found the stickers on eBay recently, and I was like, I need to get them. I need to get the stickers. I need to open the stickers for a YouTube video. Like, I, I, I need to. So, there's a few different sticker packs. This one has Jade's face on it. There's one with Sasha's face on it. Hopefully that focuses. There's also one with Yasmin's face on it. There's also one with Chloe, but I didn't get that one. Like, they just kind of sent me, like, the stock that they had. I bought all their stock because I was like, oh, like, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance I can do this. And they also threw in a Littlest Pet Shop sticker pack. Now this, I'm assuming, is from around the same time, probably 2007, 2008. 2009, actually. This is from 2009. They threw this one in, and I didn't... I guess it was just, like, a bonus, because I bought so much from them. And then I actually have a lot of Littles Pet Shops to open, so I think I'm going to open this for that video. But we're going to open the Bratz ones in this video. Apologies if my setup looks weird. There's also a fly flying around, and I'm sweating because I turned the AC off, and, uh... I think I got it. If not, I'll see it flying around again. Anyways, it's about to be summer, and it's, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the summer. I turned the AC off, and I turned my air purifier off because I didn't want it to be distracting in the video. But please forgive me if my setup looks a little bit awkward, just the way like I'm positioned or the way that I might be angled, because I have a hard time telling because I am like... My vision's very blurred, so sorry about that. And you might see me wearing the same shirt in a lot of videos upcoming because I am pre-filming a lot, so please don't think I just wear the same shirt every day. Maybe like once a week or once every two weeks I'll wear this one that I got from Charlotte Roos. So all the girlies who shop at Charlotte Roos or Urban Planet, they have a ton of licensed tees. I actually have some to show y'all in this video. But we're gonna open up these packs and I do want to save some of the packaging. So what I did, I had these Bratz Babies stickers I got from Italy once. And I used an X-Acto knife to just slit, make a little slit in the packaging so that I could save the wrapping. This is a little interesting, though, because it is plastic, whereas the other one I was working with was paper. But it looks like it's coming out pretty easy. Just doing a little little carve in here. All right, all right. We have our first batch of stickers. I'm excited to see what's in these. Oh, okay. Oh, they're like halves. Please focus. Okay, they're like halves of the bodies, and then I guess you're supposed to put them together. Oh, <laughs> the Bretts, the movie ones, being like the actual live-action actresses. I'm surprised Meredith got one. I kind of love that. I think I am going to end up putting these, like, in the sticker album. I have a bunch of, like, Brett's trading cards and, like, miscellaneous, like, stickers and things that I want to do. Maybe I'll do a video on them or something like that, because I think it'd be fun to, like, organize them on camera and show it off, like, the collection that I've built up. And I don't have, like, a ton of things, but I think I, like, have enough. I also, I bought, like, a binder, and I bought, like, the little sheets, like, the trading card sheets to put in. So maybe I'll do, like, a little organizing session video. 
And I'll also end up doing the stickers in the sticker album. I think because of how old this is, it's probably like 15, 16 years old now. Almost probably, oh wow, probably 17 years old now. That's wild to think about. Some of the plastic is stuck to the cards. Ooh, okay. That one has to get trashed, unfortunately. But I think it just, like, got all sticky. Okay, we have Forever Diamonds, Chloe. I think we have her top half right here. And then we have, oh, I love this scene in the Bratz the Movie. It's the very end of it. And I love, like, the outfits and the whole the song, the everything. We also have the top half of Adventure Girls Yasmin. That's pretty fun, pretty fun batch we got there. Let's open up the next one. So I've opened up two Sashas. It doesn't matter what character I get. Oh, it, it's like, I don't think the stickers are going to affect it, but I want to keep one package of each character at least. But we also have Vanessa's bottom half for Ice Champions. All right, I am going to open up a Jade Pack. And hopefully I can do this carefully. This is how committed I am to the bit. <laughs> I see Meredith again. Oh, wow. Are these, like, rare behind-the-scenes photos? <laughs> They're, like, really good shots. Like, things I don't see often for, like, the publicity of the movie. Oh, wow. Ooh, this one looks like a good batch. Oh, no, I ripped some of it. Ah, one of the stickers is getting ripped. It's stuck. Ah, okay. It's not too bad. Okay, we have... Meredith. <laughs> Meredith Baxter Dimley. We do have Spring Break Chloe. We have part of movie stars Sasha. Oh, here's the top part. That got ripped a little bit in the corner. And then we have Passion for Fashion Jade. Okay, we're gonna open up another pack. This one has Yasmin's face on it. And I already see, I see Sweetheart Jade, but it's not like a Sweetheart Jade, because I don't think we ever, we never got a Sweetheart Jade. But this one is, like, for the licensing artwork that they would do for the Valentine's Day cards. So it's, like, Sweetheart Jade. <laughs> These things are really, really stuck. Just, like, I'm stuck in 2007. Ooh. I hope I have another Yasmin one. <laughs> I do, I do, okay. I'm gonna try, I have to try to save the next Yasmin one. We have Magic Hair Yasmin. We have Play Sports Chloe. We have more Magic Hair Yasmin. Forever Diamonds Jade, and then we have that licensed Sweetheart Jade artwork there. Ooh, okay. Just, everything is stuck. <laughs> everything is stuck. Ooh, okay. Okay. No, let go. Let go. All right. We have some cool things here. Pampered Pups Chloe. We have Chloe doing soccer in the movie. We have Vanessa, Ice Champions Vanessa. We have, I believe this is Play Sports Team's softball, Chloe? Yeah, wow. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen the full artwork for her. And then we have a corner of, I believe, Magic Hair Sasha. So that's a pretty cool batch. I like that Chloe artwork. It's very, like, I've never really seen that before. All right, this is my only other Yasmin pack, so I have to be very careful, even though I'm being a little bit careless with this right now. I don't think I've had any repeats so far. I mean, I hope I don't eat my words. I'm never probably finding another set of these again. <laughs> I really want the Lamin cards. It's like those clear cards that the Brats had with the artwork on it. But it's like a clear plastic card. I thought it was just... I love the designs of those and I love the artwork on them. Ooh, okay. Alright, my Yasmin packaging is safe. So I have more Movie Stars Chloe's. I have... Part of movie star Sasha. I do have the four girls in the live action movie when they are rehearsing for the talent show. Movie star Sasha. More of Magic Hair Chloe. And I have two halves of movie stars Chloe here. I only have two more packs left. I don't know what I'm going to get. Okay, okay. Ooh. I'm getting a lot of Magic Hair Chloe and I'm wondering if I have enough to like make up the full picture at this point. Here is... Sasha from the Bratz the Movie poster. We have part of Forever Diamonds Yasmin, part of Fashion Pixies Yasmin, and then a part of Movie Stars Jade and Magic Hair Chloe. We're gonna get the, the last pack. Hoping we get some good ones here. 
and I, I'm kind of excited to put these in a, the book now. <laughs> All right, I think, okay, okay, we got some good ones. We have Spring Break Yasmin. I would have really loved if we got more of Spring Break Sasha and Jade's concept artwork. Part of Forever Diamonds Chloe and Sasha. Jade and Yasmin in the bathroom scene of the Bratz movie. And then another part of Forever Diamonds Chloe. So I think there's going to be some pictures that I get to get the full the full picture of with the stickers. But yeah, I got a decent amount of stickers. It was like four per pack, I think, or maybe five per pack. I don't know. But hey, a little collection and a little something that's like, you know, I guess history, my brat's history. So I'm, I'm really, really uh, happy I was able to get my hands on these and if I could only make them match up now in terms of height and length. All right, something I noticed on the back is I noticed a trademark. There's like a pattern, like a monogram pattern. You probably can't make it out, but I feel like it says passion for fashion. Maybe I'll try to piece it together one day with like all the backs of the stickers, which is a weird little detail, honestly, but I mean, hey, they did it, so that's cool, I guess. All right, let's put the X-Acto knife away, because that is dangerous. All right, next thing I have, I don't know if this is like actually official or not, so I, I can't tell. It might be official, but this came from Australia, and I it was like a store display thing, so I think it's just a sticker, like decal for the stores for back when Bratz were like in certain stores. And it's pretty cool. There's Strutted Yasmin. There's the, I think it's Just Do P.E. Fashion Pack and Chloe's wearing it. And then, oh, I forget that fashion pack name. But it's a fashion pack from 2002, I think, and Sasha's wearing it. And then that is Strutted? Strutted Jade? Yes, that is Strutted Jade. The fashion pack, I think this might be 2003. The tops is 2002, but that's just a trademark. They could have done that whenever. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. And it's like still, it has the backing to it. I don't know if maybe this was once upon a time for a store and then someone like made copies of it or something and like made the sticker decals out of it. I, I really, I can't tell because I think they had multiple in stock, but it was still a cool find. I liked it and I was like, ooh, like Brett's display type thing. And I was excited to see it. Now, another thing I got. So, Primark. Primark is a store that is primarily in Ireland and the UK. I think it originated in Ireland. Oops, I just kicked everything. And I know it's more popular in the UK, but it has made its way to the United States. The closest Primark to me is at the American Dream Mall in New Jersey. There's a few Primarks here in New Jersey, actually. And so I went there and I found some really cool new Bratz things. By the time this gets posted, these are probably like old Bratz things, but whatever. There is this very random Bratz head massager and it has like the logo on it. And then there's Mars pictures that they use as a license. And I like the head massagers when I'm like doing my shampoo and I actually bought an extra one. I wanted one in the package and I wanted one to actually use and it actually works really, really well. So I I'm loving it. So I have one in the package, which is nice. I ended up getting these no mark hair clips, which I thought were pretty cute. Like I, I'm not mad at them. I'm probably not going to use them, but they're cute. They have the Bratz logo. I like the lips that they used. It's better than the last set, I remember, because it was, like, just the Bratz logo, and I thought it was kind of useless. There are these little mini beauty blenders, and I actually really like the regular size beauty blenders. Like, the regular size Primark beauty blenders that had the Bratz logo imprinted on them, I think work really well, and I actually use them day to day, or whenever I do my makeup, so, yep. And then there's also this little compact mirror, and I haven't opened it yet. I'll probably open it eventually. But it's like a lip shape, and I'm like, oh, it just, it's so good. I love it. I found another set of Brat stickers. Okay, I guess we'll open these really quick. Maybe I'll just, I don't know. I didn't feel like doing the exacto knife. I was sitting on these the entire time. <laughs> oh, we got some pretty ones. Okay. I think, I mean, they're all pretty pretty, but. <laughs> there is Ice Champions Yasmin, part of Fashion Pixies Jade. 
Fashion Pixies Chloe, and then the licensed artwork for Sweetheart Yasmin and Sasha. So more stickers. Wow. I don't know if I'll ever own like another set of these stickers. Like they're so hard to come by. I've been looking for them for probably six years, just wanting them out of curiosity, and I I just found them. But I guess last up I'll show off our these like licensed brats things I bought. If you go to like Charlotte Russe or Urban Planet or Mandy, they all have the same stock. There's a Mandy pretty close to my job, and I honestly I haven't heard Mandy since like the 2000s, and I'm surprised they're still open. Charlotte Roos closed down momentarily and then came back, and I don't, I've never heard of Urban Planet until like the past two years, because it was at American Dream Mall. I found out they all hold the same thing, so I'll go to Mandy sometimes on my lunch breaks, and I'll do some shopping. I love licensed Brad's merch, and I love the tees, and I love like having just something I can wear whenever. This one has been out for quite a minute. And it's that quote from Keeping Up with the Kardashians when Kendall Jenner turns to Kylie and says, Has anyone ever told you that you look like a brat stall? And it's a reference to that joke, but then there's Girls Night Out Dina on the front and on the back. And my friend Joel, Monster Lul, he works with brats on some freelance stuff, and uh, this is his picture, and I thought that was pretty cool. Then they had this new sweater. I haven't seen this one yet until I went to the store. And it's a really cool sweater. It has an outline of first edition Yasmin's artwork. And then this is actually, like, patched. And it says Brett's. And there's a lips down there. And that's a patch as well. And I, I just love that. Like, there was kind of, like, more effort than just screen printing something onto a shirt. So, yeah. I, I felt like there were... I, you know, I bought a lot of stuff there recently, but it wasn't, like, just Bratz. I bought these really cute Bratz shorts. Wait. All right. This, these were pretty cute. These Bratz shorts. These are at Walmart, actually. These are Walmart. And these are $10? Yeah, $10.98, so 11 bucks. They come in a bunch of sizes. I got one to, like, fit my big man body. And it says Brett's on it. Oh, and then there's the artwork, yeah. I think it's just... Yeah, it's Sasha's artwork from first edition. And then it says Chloe has and Sasha Jade on the side. So pretty cute. And then Five Below has been selling a little bit more Brett's merch lately, which I love because I love Five Below. And they had a Brett's cosmetic set. And I think it is pretty cute. I love seeing just random Bratz merchandise back on shelves. I do hope they retire the first edition artwork soon and maybe update it with, like, always Bratz artwork or something. Because the this artwork's, the first edition artwork is getting a little, little tired. But, yeah, that's my little, my little Bratz haul moment. My little random Bratz things I've been buying lately. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun to just sit and talk about the miscellaneous Bratz things that I like to purchase and have purchased and will continue to purchase. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any things like memorabilia or anything that you like to purchase that maybe isn't necessarily just dolls. Maybe it's a franchise you enjoy, sort of like me with Bratz. Let me know in the comments. And I hope you will join me in my next video. If you are not subscribed, please do so. I highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and follow for more Bratz and doll content. Follow me on all socials if you want to check out more content on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Coffee, all under Lookin' Bratz and visit LookinBrats.com. It, it's very, very cool. And there are cool things happening soon. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye! I just saw my Squishmallow fall in the corner of my eye and it freaked me out. Alright. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>